this is Pooja and welcome to Food Without Borders. Today, I am going to show you how to put together a Burberry cabbage. Now, if you've heard of the spice blend Burberry, it's probably from the Ethiopian food. It is one of those ethnic spice blends, which is so flavorful. And you, if you love ethnic food, you probably should have it in your pantry or it's something that you should consider having in your pantry, okay? So let's get started. So folks, here I have a heavy bottom pan heating up on medium high with some avocado oil. You can use clarified butter or regular butter or any odorless oil of your choice. Now let's talk about the cabbage. So folks, what I did with the cabbage was I cut it in half and then into quarters. After that, I chopped it into one fourth inch slices. Then I rinsed the cabbage, removed all the excess water, and now I have set it aside in a colander. All right, folks, the pan and the oil is nice and hot. Into this, I will add some sliced onions. And I am going to saute this until it's translucent. To this, I will add the cabbage. And I always use a big dish to cook only because, um, you know, cabbage tends to be nice and crispy and voluptuous when it's um, raw. And then as it cooks, it cooks down, but then it creates a lot of mess if the dish is smaller so just make sure you use a big enough dish to fit all this cabbage so i did turn the flame to a medium and now i am cooking the cabbage and I'm sauteing it while I stir it constantly. I don't want the cabbage to burn. This should take about five minutes. So if you notice, the cabbage has started to reduce a little bit, just like I had said. And um, what I am doing is I will continue to saute it and stir it constantly uh, until it kind of gets a little crispy on the sides. And if you think it's burning, you can always lower the temperature. At this point, I am going to season it with some salt. Give it a stir. About now is when I am going to add the garlic paste. You could even use garlic powder. And let the cabbage cook with the garlic. I don't want the garlic to burn, so I am cooking the cabbage with the garlic for just two minutes. Now we'll add the flavorful Berbere spice blend. Now for the measurements, I will have all the ingredients and their measurements on my blog, which is www.foodwithoutbutters.us. Also, for those of you who are not as lucky as I am to find this in your local supermarket, I have um, created a spice blend that is very, very close to the Burberry spice, which is actually the Burberry spice, but it is more personalized, and you can find it on the notes as well. And right about now, I will lower the flame and let this cook. Now you may wonder, why isn't Pooja adding any chili flakes to this recipe? That's only because Burberry Spice has paprika in it and that gives enough heat to this recipe. But if you wish to add some chili flakes, go for it, man. You live only once, right? So I let the cabbage, the Burberry and the garlic cook for another two minutes. Now into this, I will add my diced canned tomatoes. Now you could use fresh tomatoes, the cook time would be just the same. I just prefer it from a can because I'm lazy like that. But you could use fresh if you want to. So folks, right about now, I am going to cook it with the lid on and the lid was extremely heavy and left me breathless. 
Um, I'm going to cook this for about 12 to 15 minutes and then we'll see you in a bit. Alright, we are back and this cooked for about 12 minutes. Let's see what it looks like. The one way that you can tell that this is done is when you uh, try to press on to the tomato. It should just disintegrate and that's how you can tell that it's done. For about two minutes, I'm letting it cook on open flame. When it loses all the moisture, we'll do the tasting. I did taste it again and it seems like it needs a little more salt, so I added salt to it. Stirring that in, this is done. Going to get a little bit to taste. Let me get myself a little tasting bowl here. Get this deliciousness into this bowl. Before um, those Ethiopian chefs out there pounce on me saying this is not the authentic recipe, I know by no means am I saying this is the authentic recipe. This is an inspiration when I can go to an Ethiopian restaurant I make it at home and the end result is just as good people. So how does it matter if it's made it in the authentic way or not? I don't think it matters, does it? Now. The tomato gives this recipe so much sauce and tar tartness to this, brings so much tartness to this recipe. I'm speechless because I'm enjoying it. The cabbage is sort of crunchy, but it's also kind of mushy in a way. So 10 minutes is just how much, or 12 minutes is how long you should be cooking this. This is a recipe, you have to give it a try. I have it with some protein on the side, but um, I remember when my father was here, he had it with a tortilla and he added some sour cream to it and he enjoyed it very much. So this could be your Ethiopian, Mexican uh, recipe. Well, it's food without borders, right? So give this recipe a try. Let me know what you think. If you haven't subscribed, please do. It helps me validate what I do. And I will see you next week. Bye.